Hey, 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 YouTubers! Welcome back to Galactic Gaming. This is Hotfield15 reporting for duty, and today we're back with some more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate! Now, today, you guys, the last of the five DLC fighters in the Fire Pass has arrived, and it is another Fire Emblem representative, Byleth, from the new Fire Emblem game, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Now, I was honestly kind of underwhelmed with the recent Nintendo Direct and how this is the last DLC character for Smash Ultimate because, you know, we already have so many uh, Fire Emblem representatives and Lucina being the only one I really use. But, you know, anyways, it's a good thing that they announced a second Fighter Pass, this one containing six different fighters instead of five. So by the end of this all, we'll have 11 DLC fighters. I'm not sure who they're going to be, but apparently Nintendo already made their decision. But, you know, I guess the good big takeaway from that Nintendo Direct is that we have a Cuphead... Uh, DLC costume, and um, yeah, there's now some Richter and Dark Samus Amiibos, which I have yet to get my hands on, but anyways, yeah, just before we begin, you guys, to this video, please hit 15 likes, and if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please make sure to smash that subscribe button if you want a shout-out. Be sure to show your subscription to me publicly if you want to make sure you get a shout-out. Also, make sure you ring and ding that notification bell so you never miss out on any videos. So let's take a look at this guy's tip, shall we? But anyways, yeah, like I said, another Fire Emblem representative, but yeah. 2019. Actually, I, I think I gotta admit, I think Byleth is probably probably the youngest uh, fighter, but yeah, I'm just taking a look at all these, uh, yeah, I remember seeing the Direct, and all these attacks, they all have, like, uh, different inputs or whatever, and I think that's actually pretty cool, so I just want to remind myself of that. So, let's see, Flail Knot, Neutral Special, press the Special button, okay, yeah, that's right, it's, uh, yeah, you have to fully charge that, because there's, once you're fully charging it, there's no going back with it, but... And it's, it's, it's possible to dodge or place, a uh, dodge in place or a shield when you begin to first draw a bow, but the move will reset if you do so. Once the charge begins after holding down the button, you won't be able to dodge or shield. Okay, uh, a dread, a red bar? Uh, I think, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but it's, uh, you know, a bunch of Gaelic stuff, I think. So, swing this legendary lance in front of you. The bladed part of the weapon is the most powerful part. Well, obviously, I mean, what's the stick gonna do? Flicking the stick, if you flick your... Okay, I actually kind of flicked it for emphasis right there. If you flick the stick and input your attack, you'll swing upward and charge. Pay close attention to how far you are from your opponent, and use this technique to surprise them. Alright, let's see. If you... When using it in the air, the attack strikes in a wide arc from below upward. Flicking the stick will allow you to move for a little forward, too. Let's see, then Sword of the Creator, uh, extend your sword upward and diagonally. If an attack hits an opponent, the bag will shorten it and bring you closer. After the jump, you can move freely about in the air. And then I believe you can use that to uh, hit that stuff. Aimer, and then we have, yeah, then we have Aimer, which is the down special, I believe. So, let's see what Aimer is about. Charge up the X and swing down with incredible force. It takes a while to prepare the attack, uh, so using it can leave you vulnerable, but enemies on the receiving end can suffer a serious damage. Oh, yeah. Let's see, progenitor or god of ruptured heaven, I have no idea what the hell all that means, but anyways, that's just the final smash. Let's see, side smash attack, and uh, blah blah blah, I'll read the rest of that later. Alright, let's get to testing by life. You know, honestly, it's been a while since I've played Smash Ultimate. I really don't play it as much as I used to back when it initially came out, but hey, you know, um, I guess this is good to get back in the swing of things. Alright, let's see, uh, three sage, actually no, we're gonna go with basic, and we're gonna go on over to, uh, let's see, the Garrig Mox Monastery, or the new stage that came along with Byleth, but anyways, let's just see what variants we have here. Okay, I know there's like one, like, there's like four male variants and four female variants, so let's just have a look at each of them, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so they each all have different colors, of which I'm obviously uh, too young to understand. Alright, uh, actually, let's tone down the CPU level a little bit, just so, again, it's been a while since I played Smash, so I just want to make sure, you know, I want to get back into the swing things before I put it back on full blast. Okay, well, it looks like we're going up against, uh, Lemmy. Alright, here we go. Oh, okay, well, that, uh, that side special actually has some, uh, real range to it. Okay, okay, come on. Okay, ow. Okay, took a little damage. Oh, item? Item, that's good. Come here, let me... Let's see, and... Okay, oh, yeah, that's right. Alright, I'll be taking that assist trophy, thank you very much. And it's, uh, Spring Boy. Or Spring Man, I don't know. I just called him Spring Boy for whatever reason. Ugh, okay, wow. Man, the neutral and down special take a long time to charge up, but hey, holy hell, do they do some damage, though. Enough damage that Flex Tape won't be able to fix that. 
Uh, Springman, you idiot. Oh, well, at least I didn't get it, though. And, uh, wow, we were able to hit Lemmy right off the bat right there. <laughs> okay, holy crap, like 50 damage? Okay, I, I'm i getting all the good items all the time, so you know what? This isn't really a proper test of uh, Violet's abilities. Alright, you know what? I'll just let, let me get this uh, next one. Okay, I forgot he'll be uh, invulnerable to damage, so... Let's see. Let's see. Ow. Okay. Uh, I was hoping to, like, destroy that thing before I got a chance to. Alright, now we have Gardevoir up in here, so we should be safe from projectiles. I'm not sure melee attacks, though. Oh, he was able to parry that attack. Impressive. Aha! There we go, we finally got that one. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll throw away the, the Death Scythe, because that thing is overpowered. Ah. Alright. Ow. Alright, let's try that neutral special again, shall we? Huh. Wow, that's actually kind of like uh, Link's Final Smash, or Link and Zelda's Final Smash. Or even, like, Dark Pets, I believe. Huh. Wow, we got a lot of good weapons, and I believe they're, we all owe them thanks to that uh, goddess chick, whatever her name is again. Because, like I said, I don't play Fire Emblem, so I wouldn't know this crap. Okay, anyways, like I said, good, that's a pretty good first glance with uh, Byleth, but... Now I think we can we can crank it back up to uh, level nine. Let's see let's see if we can try out some of those more other attacks, shall we? Man, it has been a freaking crazy ass month because you know I have I haven't been able to make videos because of diplomas or whatever. Okay, looks like we're going up against uh, Krom, father of Lucina. All right, let's just see how good classic. Uh, let, yeah, okay. Apparently, it does a lot of damage. Ow. Okay. Yeah, I forget that. Like, wait a second. I think Byleth is one of the only characters, uh, save for, uh, save for, like, Robin that doesn't have that same, uh, side special, because I think a lot of, like, a lot of, if not all of the, uh, Fire Emblem characters have, like, the same, very, like, the same attack, so, you know, I guess that's one thing to be happy with about Byleth is that she's, uh, different from the other Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem reps, but, anyways, um, let's see, okay, let's see, oh, wait, there's a motion sensor bomb, okay, wait, I don't know where it's gonna be, Okay, that missed, but Dr. Wily provided some good old distraction. Okay, there we go. Crom's out and out of there. Yeah. Okay. And, uh... Oh! Crap, I fell for that thing. But, yeah, it looks like Crom always had the last laugh. But, anyways, what a freaking crazy month it has been for January 2020, because, uh... You know, we had World War III almost start, and then, of course, we have Australia literally up in flames, which, might add, is a very big tragedy that we all need to be aware of. And then, of course, we now have, uh, the coronavirus starting in, uh... Uh, China. It took me a moment to recognize, and it's quickly spreading all across the world. I mean, I play. I used to play Plague Incorporated a lot, but you know, I couldn't really get past. Uh, I couldn't really beat Fungus on normal difficulty or any difficulty for that matter. But I was each recently able to beat it and move on from there because, uh, yeah, of course, since uh, all this mumbo jumbo is going on, we have uh, Plague Incorporated uh, making those stonks. But yeah, I think that's. Uh, I can't help but think about that being a potential bad omen for the rest of the year. Oh, okay, I think Crom might actually win this, but... Yeah, that's right. Again, it's a kind of a... Uh, it's a bit of a nuisance, but... Hey, I mean, at least uh, the full charge thing has its uh, benefits if it actually hits. Okay, at least... Uh, another good thing, too, is that we can change direction with... Uh... Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, we gotta make sure we keep blocking these attacks, otherwise we're in trouble. And, uh... Okay. Okay. Uh, Crumb, oh, and Crumb actually won. And like I said, it's all part of getting experience. Okay, I haven't been using that up special as much as I want to, so how about we change, uh, let's change stages. But, hey, you know, at least we got, we got, we got a pretty good go with that, uh, Three Houses stage, or, yeah, the Garrick Mach Monastery. So, let's just hit it with a random one and see if we get something that will allow us to use that, um, up special a bit more. But, anyways, let's go with the male variant for once, but... Anyways, yeah, January 2020, what a crazy month it's been. Oh, okay, we keep getting matched up with uh, Fire Emblem reps, but... Okay, okay, we got four sides, so that's uh, pretty good. 
Okay, okay, good. We can definitely use the uh, up special to cling onto walls. But anyways, um, yeah, another recent thing that's uh, a bad omen for the rest of this year is uh, the death of uh, the real, the greatest of all time, Kobe Bryant. Because I guess a couple days ago, um, he w he and his uh, he one he and one of his four daughters. I forgot which daughter it was because I don't know the names. But he and uh, his daughter sadly died in a helicopter crash in uh, San Francisco, I believe it was. But no. Crap, okay, Robin got that extra stonk, but that's okay. Okay, good, good. I can definitely use the up special to my advantage here to cling onto the sides, but yeah, Kobe Bryant uh, was sadly killed at, uh, uh, was sadly killed a couple days ago, and that really hit the world hard because of, uh, you know, everybody, like, whatever tossing something, everybody ever, e either, it's when they don't say yeet, they often say Kobe, but, you know, now that uh, the greatest of all time, uh, Kobe is dead, we're now just gonna end up saying for Kobe because. Yeah, what's a world without Kobe? I'll tell you, the world we're currently living in right now. So, yeah, it's super effing sad, but yeah, I have to pay respects for uh, Kobe. But yeah, very, it's a very, very sad thing to see what happened to uh, Kobe. Okay, Robin is kicking my ass over here, but okay. Aha! Ho -ho! Oh, there we go. That actually works a lot like that one attack from uh, Corrin, which I've never really figured out how to use. Okay. Alright, there we go. We can, uh... Oh, nine! Oh! Get the smash! Oh, Robin got the smash. Oh, crap. Oh, man. Okay, I'm not doing so good this go-round, but... Oh, wow. Okay, that didn't work out so well, but I still have a chance to make a recovery, because I'm the greatest of all time. I'm the greatest there ever was. Okay, ow. Ooh. Okay, I didn't do so good that go-round. No! Oh, okay. No, oh, come on! No, give me... For God's sake, dude. Like, bruh. Nope. Okay, I was hoping the ship would save me, but no, it doesn't look like the ship will be saving me. Okay. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Robin's getting pretty fierce up in here. Okay, wait, I think that was a bomb. Alright. Ow. Okay, I really need to take a bit more of a defensive approach, because Robin is really kicking, giving it to me over here. Ah, there we go. There we go. That was a good opportunity right there. Ow. Okay. I knew I was on the receiving end of that. Ow. Okay. All right. Holy crap. Okay. I'm... Ow. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, I forgot. Who's this guy again? Oh, yeah. He does that. Yeah, he paralyzes you. Okay. Okay. Well, at least I am not in range of that... Uh... That, ar that submarine bomb or whatever they call it again. Okay, I need to get that maximum tomato stat because I'm in some big trouble if not. Alright, yeah, I, might, I definitely might want to start using the lance a bit more because that has some pretty good range to it. Oh. I'll see. Okay, there we go. I was, I was just thinking, like, wouldn't it be cool if, like, Byleth had some, like, advice or whatever, but, you know, kind of like uh, Palatina's advice to Pit and, like, uh, Snake's Codex, but, but you know, I, I just think it'd be... I, I've always really liked those uh, little ideas. I just think they're... Uh, I just think they're cool, so it would it would have been cool if Byleth had some, but then again, I think it might have been... I might be Byleth giving the advice, because, you know, he's the teacher up in here. Ah, ooh... Ow, okay. There we go. At least we're now even. One, just one stock left for both of us. So, yeah, we just really got to time it just right here. Otherwise, we're in trouble. Okay. Okay. No. Oh, man. It's a good thing that this uh, up special has as much range as it does. All right. Assist trophies. I'm going to need them. Yeah, Phosphora. I'll definitely need some uh, help over here. And definitely Chaos Good Troll or Zawardo from uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. Ha! There we go. That's more like it. Aha! Ooh! There we go. We hit... Uh, Phosphora hit him with that lethal finish right there. But, anyways, yeah. No hesitation. Hmm. Yeah, no hesitation indeed, all right. But that's probably why I've been losing a fast little bit. Okay, um... Anyways, yeah, like I said, I'm just getting some good impressions with Violet so far. Like I said, it's just a lot of versatility with them. It's actually kind of just like the Piranha Plants. Uh, each of his attacks are highly versatile, but personally, if you had to ask me, like, if you, if you had to ask me which of my favorites, like, what my favorite DLC character would have to be so far, not gonna lie, it would probably have to be Joker, just because of the whole Persona thing, and that if the meter, when the meter fills up, uh, it grants you, like, uh, like, it modifies your abilities and makes you stronger, so, yeah, that's just what you have to, have to ask me. 
Okay, we're going up against uh, Samus now. All right, let's see who will win, uh, Byleth or the greatest of all time for Smash, Samus, but or the greatest of all time for gaming, period. Out. Okay, it looks like Samus is winning so far. Like I said, I've been, I haven't been playing Smash in a while, but now actually it's been a while since I played Samus by herself because I've been mostly focused on playing Ridley and Dark Samus because of uh, their uh, relevance to Smash or them being newcomers. Okay, want to be careful because of the stage obstacles right here. Oh wait, that was the Deku nut. So, yeah, I'm not talking about Deku as in that hero from My Hero Academia. But I mean, I don't watch My Hero Academia, but I've heard some things about it now. It's uh. A really good show, so, I mean, it's not on Netflix, so I can't really watch the, uh, English dub of it, so, yeah. Okay, Samus is really giving it to me over here. Okay, there we go, okay, I might want to get out of the way, because, uh, you know, Donkey Kong got to send those, uh, springs at us. Everybody gangster until Donkey Kong starts sending those springs at us. Oh, wouldn't it be, oh, okay, I got, got hit by that thing. Ah, okay, yeah, Samus is really giving it to old Violet over here, but... Yeah, at least I got that final smash now. Well, I don't have it just yet. Okay, right, come on. Yeah, there we go, we got him with that attack right there. Ow! Oh, oh, crap, Samus got the smash. Samus got that smash, I'm out. Oh, okay, Samus lost the smash ball. Okay, the only reason I'm kind of winning here is mainly because of uh, Donkey and over Donkey over here, but... Alright. Okay. There we go. Oh, wait, Samus had the Tanuki Leaf. I thought I had the Tanuki Leaf for a moment. Yeah, man, it's the... Like, the arrow attack that Byleth has and Samus' uh, charge beam are both, uh, they're both kind of the same, but it's, they're pretty overpowered. I mean, I guess the only difference with, uh, with Byleth is that, uh, like, when you, there's, when you start charging it up, there's, like, almost no going back, so. Ah, uh, okay, I think I'm just letting Samus win at this point, so I really need to bump up my game here if I actually want to win this. Oh, yeah, Kadabra, I forgot that this little dude existed. Alright, there we go. Kadabra almost got Samus, but, you know, Samus is smart enough to know that one's coming. Okay, well, I mean, at least she knows how to recover is what I meant, because she, uh, she clearly didn't see that coming. Oh, ow. Come on. There we go. Okay, Samus is going to keep shielding. Man, it, it, I just remember just I remember just how overpowered that Samus is. So, yeah, really, it's set up to get back into uh, playing a game, let alone playing Samus. Because, I mean, Dark Samus is the exact same as Samus. I'll see with Samus being in... Uh, Dark Samus being an Echo of uh, Samus. Oh, great. And then Doggo. Okay, at least I'm on a platform. At least I'd like to think I'm on a platform. Well, I mean, this, this Doggo doesn't really help out that much. Oh... Okay, I mean, it, it, it at least bought me some time until Samus reached my position. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I just gotta keep using that up special to my advantage over here. Ow! Okay, and I gotta make sure I don't run into the little flamey thingies. Ow! Okay, come on. Don't get the smash. Oh, ow! Okay. Well, uh, it's just the same obstacles that uh, kind of allowed Samus that win right there. Uh, I can't be mad. Samus is the GOAT, honestly. Like, just the legitimate GOAT. Okay, well, uh, I mean, obviously I gotta give that one to uh, Samus because of the stage right there. But, anyways, let's give her one last go and just before I end off this video so I can finish out my first impressions of Byleth over here. But, yeah, anyways. Uh, okay, I forgot I had some tea right over here. Okay, Young Link. I think Samus has generally kind of been the only uh, fighter we fought today that hasn't really been like a sword fighter or like uh, from the medieval period of things because, uh, you know, the Link, uh, like Young Link and like Crom and Robin all had like swords and like magic and stuff. Well, I mean, not so much Crom and uh, Young Link had magic or whatever, but let's see. Let's try and get some... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I I'll take... Oh, no! I'll take that. Thank you very much. Okay, I do have it. Ah, yeah, there we go. Okay, this is going by way too fast because my either my attacks are just that overpowered or it's way too easy to yeet Young Link off the stage. Okay. Chaos okay, Control and uh, Spring Man. Okay. Nope, I got this one. Oh. Okay, that went by, like, way too fast. So, you know, just one more go. One more go before I actually end off the video. 
Each battle a chance to grow. Hmm. Yeah, indeed. But anyways, we'll give that one more go. Actually, I think I'll pick the stage this time so it doesn't go by way too fast. Actually, let's go with uh, let's go with the King of Fighters Stadium because I really like the concept of that. Now you need to uh, like launch someone at full speed in order for them to actually like be knocked out of the stage. Cause I really like the concept of uh, Terry's stage. Okay, I really got my watch my voice because this is like voice crack. Okay, Little Mac. Okay, I want to get another break from uh, all that. But anyways, let's just yeet him. Okay, he blocked that. How could he have blocked that? Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh, it's because Little Mac countered that. That's why. Okay. Yeah, okay, Little Mac's really kind of giving it to me, so. Let's see, and take an arrow. Okay, he's just going to keep uh, parrying that. Ah, yeah, there we go. Okay, I, it actually just kind of occurred to me, like, this stage is actually somewhat thematic to Little Mac because, uh, you know, Little Mac is uh, kind of, like, a bit more modern. Same with, uh, same with, uh, like, uh, you know, Ryu and Ken. But, yeah. All right. Yeah. Ooh, and there he goes. Like I said, like I said, I, I enjoyed the concept of this stage because of uh, all that. Ah, Gray Fox. It's been a while since I've gotten good old Gray Fox over here, but... Let's see. Let's actually get a photo right over here of Byleth. Ooh, actually, that's a really good pose. It's uh, Byleth and Gray Fox back to back over here. Okay, wait. How do you get rid of? Uh, I think there's a way to get rid of like the particles or whatever. No hit effect. Effect off. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want to get over here. But okay, now we got Angle at right. Yeah, there we go. Byleth and uh, my favorite assist trophy of all time back to back. And uh, yeah. There we go. Gray Fox. Gray Fox is freaking overpowered, my dudes. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, that was me. I, I don't even know how that affected. Okay, the Little Mac is really going to get it now because uh, Zorak and Gray Fox are going at him. Yeah, let's, see, let's see. Let's hit him with that. Ah, crap. I hit that uh, down special in the wrong direction, and I think he was able to doge that, too. Oh. Okay, let's see. Let's try some grab attacks. I never really like to use grab attacks, mainly because I just kind of prefer to hit enemies from uh, range, more or less. I mean, swords, uh, sword attacks aren't really ranged, but uh, I mean, they're they're kind of they're not exactly point blank, and nonetheless. But yeah. Anyways, you know what I'm saying. But anyways, with the new, with the second fighter pass coming up sometime soon, just imagine if they added characters like. Uh, from, imagine if they added characters from the Avengers or whatever. I mean, their decisions have already been made of who is going to join the roster, but. Yeah, even so, just imagine if they added someone from, like, uh, the Avengers or Marvel. Uh, if you had to ask me who would be a good fit for, uh, Mar who would be a good fit for, uh, uh, for a DLC character here in Smash, but, uh, you know, if you had to pick someone from Marvel, personally, I think, uh, either Thor, Iron Man, or Captain America would, would be the best bet. I mean, mostly kind of either Thor or Cap, because I could just kind of see it happening. Okay, there we go. We were able to, uh, shield break, uh, Little Mac right there. Yeah, there we go. I was afraid that that Pokemon, that Alolan Raichu, I mean, was going to screw me over, but I guess not. Okay, I really need to be careful here, because I'm just one punch away from being launched. Or in some cases, just one banana away from being launched. Anyways, uh, yeah. I mean, I may have lost those matches, but again, it's because I'm so rusty at Smash by this point, but... Anyways, yeah, first impressions on Byleth. Uh, you know, I'm really, I'm actually pretty satisfied with uh, just how balanced she is because uh, the neutral and down specials are overpowered, but, you know, it takes a while to charge them up, and there's really not much going back once you actually start to charge them up uh, in order to perform those attacks, but at least the rewards are worth it, so it's like a risk-reward type of thing. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to end off the video here, and, uh, okay, oh crap, I forgot that there were some new spirits over here, so I'll take care of those spirits on my own time, but... Yeah, like I said, I can't wait for the next Fighter Pass where they introduce six more characters. So the fun just keeps going on, ladies and gentlemen. So for now, that's about the time we got today. So thank you all for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe, leave comments down below, because I like them, and crank that like button to max like Soldier Boy. Till then, I'm Hatfield15. Space out, bros and bros. See you guys.